Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a get ready with me using a full face of underrated products. Now, obviously I don't watch every single YouTuber or beauty YouTuber on the face of this earth. So these are just things that I feel as a whole are not as talked about in the community. Because generally you're kind of aware of the products that have a lot of hype, you know, a lot of YouTubers or whoever bloggers talk about them. And then you have some products from more lesser known brands or things in general that don't get talked about as much. And I thought I would just share with you and do a full face of what I feel is not as raved about and deserves a little bit more love. So if you're curious to see, don't forget to please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you know when I post. And without further ado, let's just go ahead and get ready together. I also want to mention that I have done one underrated products video, but it wasn't in the style of a get ready with me. It was more so me just showing you a lot of products and I will link that video below. I did that over a year ago, um, but I still love every single one of those products I spoke about in that video. I just don't want to repeat them in this video because I already had another video on them. So I'm going to start my face because I'm not going to do a super crazy eye look. I'm just going to lunch today, seeing a friend, running a couple errands. And yeah, okie doke. So for primer, I'm gonna go in with the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Mattifying Primer. This is a nice primer. It's a little bit thicker. A little goes a long way. As you can see right here, that's all I'm gonna do. It's kind of like a silicone primer, but it's a little bit thicker. So I feel like it really just lays down a nice base. Now keep in mind, when I do this video, the products I'm featuring, they're not necessarily my holy grail ride or die products, but they are products that I do really, really like and I just feel need a little bit more love or don't get as much hype as other products in their respective categories do. So yeah, I do like this primer. It's not my favorite of all time, but it does lay down a really nice base and I feel like it does control shine to a certain extent, but it's not like that thick tacky primer. It's more of a thicker silicone based primer that really just blurs out your pores and really just fills them in, but it also provides a nice matte canvas to work off of. For foundation, one of my favorite foundations, this is the Note Mattifying Extreme Wear Foundation. You can get this at Ulta. It's a relatively um, indie brand, I feel. It's not a drugstore price, but it's not like a high-end price. This was $17.99, I believe, and I have the shade 04 Sand. It has SPF 15. I actually traveled with this foundation to Chicago. It's a plastic bottle so it's very durable the cap is secure and then the pump is awesome so I love this so much I'm gonna actually apply two pumps of it on my beauty blender right there as you can see and um, this reminds me a lot of the consistency of the Too Faced Peach Perfect foundation um, and I love that foundation it's like my favorite foundation of all time if you guys didn't know that um, the consistency is just really good and it, it does say it's extremely mattifying, but I don't think it's so matte that people with dry skin can't use it. Like I think that it is a great satin matte finish, obviously leaning a little bit more matte than satin, but it all depends again on the primer that you use, right? So if you use a super hydrating primer underneath dewy primer, you're going to get more of a dewy luminous effect. So with this primer, it's not like a super thick, tacky mattifying can't move anything on it primer that it just provides a really nice base as i said so this is really good provides a medium to full coverage you can see i did two pumps on my beauty blender and i pretty much have like great coverage and the beauty blender of course is going to soak up some of that so i just love how it applies okay as you can see that was one layer of two pumps and i pretty much have all the coverage that I want honestly like you guys know or if you've been watching my channel you know I don't really like to build up foundation if there are areas that I still feel need a little bit more coverage I will go in and spot conceal so today for concealer I am going to be going in with the Be Bright Illuminating Concealer from Koki Cosmetics this is in the shade medium light and Koki is a drugstore brand you can find at Walmart and I love this concealer specifically for underneath my eyes because this shade in particular, medium light, has a little bit of a peachy undertone. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but it definitely has a peachy tone and peachy tones are great at canceling out dark circles. So that's what I love about this concealer. I'm just going to kind of highlight down the center of my face. And then to spot conceal, another concealer I feel doesn't get a lot of love, or at least doesn't anymore, is a Wet n Wild Photo Focus, and this is in the shade Medium Tawny. This is like a $3 concealer and it's honestly so good. I'm just gonna kind of conceal or go over the areas I feel a little need a little bit more coverage so includes all up in here I'm just gonna take that beauty blender again and I'm just going to 
go in and start blending everything out. This Koki concealer is really good specifically for under your eyes. You get really good coverage as you can see right here. And while it's not my favorite concealer of all time, it is an excellent concealer for this purpose. Blends out really easily. It's just great stuff. And of course, every brand I'm talking about in this video, if you guys are new to my channel, I am a cruelty-free um, beauty vlogger, beauty user, uh, with a lot of household items too, like dish soaps and stuff like that. I really try my best to be um, cruelty-free in as many aspects as I can in terms of like products and things like that. Um, and yeah, so long story short, all these products are cruelty free. I have a lot of texture on my chin right now because it's been that time of the month and it's not, not the business. Okay, base products are done. And now for under eye brightener, I use this in every video, but I honestly do feel like this is underrated. This is the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder in the shade Baba Banana. It is almost time for me to get a new one. I use this literally every single day to set my under eyes, it's the only thing I ever do and I'm actually going to set my eyelids as well because I use my concealer as primer on my Juvia's Place tapered brush. This does an amazing job at just brightening everything so I don't even need to use a loose powder to set underneath my eyes. I mean, I'll use a different powder as you can see to set all over my face but to highlight and to set my eyes specifically, this is the guy. So creamy, very affordable and very effective. I'm going to take something that's newer to my collection, um, but I think is amazing. This is actually an underrated brand as a whole. This is the Found Cosmetics Mattifying Powder Foundation in the shade 140 Medium. Looks like this. It is a powder foundation, so it's going to have a little bit more coverage than just your standard um, powder, like setting powder. But I do find that if you apply a light layer, which is what I do to just set um my foundation it does a beautiful job at keeping your face looking matte and like poreless all day like i don't know if you can tell the difference in sides between this one which i just set down in this one and because it does have a little bit of a color to it it's not going to give you flashback in photos found as a whole is so underrated and i've wanted to do a full face of found cosmetics makeup because i have a few things at this point but it's just so good. It's a brand you can find at Walmart, all natural ingredients, like all of their products are at least like 90% natural. And I have a few other skincare items too that I really like. So if you're someone who's on a budget and you just want to try out more natural products, go to Walmart and check out Found because they're amazing. My base is looking really good. Like I'm very happy with how my face looks. It looks very smooth. Yeah, I don't feel like there's a bunch of products on. It feels very light, so A plus. For bronzer, I am going to go in with the Lottie London Tan Time Bronzer, and I have the shade Light Medium. They do have a medium deep shade. Looks like this. It's very creamy, um, very pigmented, but blends out very nicely. Um, and it is a little bit powdery, so when you dip your brush in, you're going to have a little bit of kickback, but just have off your brush and you'll be fine. Lottie London is a brand that you can find at Ulta but um, it's not as talked about and I really like it. They have a lot of cute products. I'm actually gonna be using their eyeshadow palette as well. Um, it's really good stuff and really cute. Just gonna take my Moda Pro brush, it's a powder brush, and I'm just going to lightly bronze up my face. I'm not gonna contour anything today. It's a nice Sunday casual light glam. <laughs> you can see it just gives a nice warmth to your face. It's very easy to blend it, as I've said, and it just gives you a nice flush. And again, it's very affordable, $6. You can't go wrong. It's a great brand overall, in my opinion. For blush, I am going to go in with the Catrice Blush Box in the shade Bronze. This is one of their newer products. It claims it's sweat proof and waterproof. And I've done a video with this before, and I love this bronze shade. This is like my go-to bronze neutral color. They have a few other varieties as well. Again, very inexpensive. You can find this at Ulta. I love this because it blends out so nicely. And it seems like no matter what brush you use, whether it's super dense or super flimsy, it never applies too much at once. Like, it's just very, very easy to work with. I love the little messaging too. It says, be brave, be you. So that's really cute. Like look at that nice little flush and it's not super flat. Like there's a little bit of a sheen to it, but it's not a shimmery blush by any means. Like when you look at it in the pan, it's a matte blush, but it claims it's got light diffusing pigments for a healthy, natural looking flush on the cheeks. And I agree, like I can see that in person. I'm not sure if it's noticeable on camera, but in person I definitely see a little bit of life to it as opposed to just being like a flat matte chalky powder. 
You know what I mean? So I'm gonna move on to brows for now. I am going to take something that I have been loving so much that I spoke about in my favorites video and a couple other videos. This is the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil and I have the shade Brunette. I feel like most people, if they talk about a drugstore brow pencil, they talk about the NYX Micro Brow Pencil, which I've had and I've loved. It's a great brow pencil, but I think this one's even better because you know, if it's not the Anastasia Brow Wiz or whatever, that's like the go-to drugstore dupe in my opinion. But this is even more affordable. It's like five bucks and LA Girl is a great brand in general. And I have just been using this so much. So I'm just going to lightly fill in my brows. I don't want something too like precise today. But I'm just going to comb that out and I love how easy it is to just brush the product through. The spoolie is really amazing. Okie doke and to set that down, another underrated product in my opinion that I've loved and I'm sorry I've spoken about a couple of these items in my favorites video just because I I love them so much. This is the Milk Makeup uh, Kush Brow Gel in the shade Dutch looks like this. It is seriously my favorite brow gel of all time now. Just a few swipes and I even like to use this on days where I don't even use brow pencil and I still feel like it does a great job of just adding color and dimension and depth. So there we have it. A few swipes and brows are good. Okay, moving on to eyes. I already did prime them with concealer when I was putting on my base and then I set that down with a powder. But we are going to go in with the Lottie London Shadow Swatch 12 Piece Eyeshadow Palette. And this I feel like is totally underrated. Lottie London is a brand that is totally underrated. I have done a video with this before. I did a first impressions where I actually think I featured a couple of these products. I will link that down below. But this, in my opinion, I was going through all of my palettes and some I feel I've already spoken about a lot. This I've only spoken about once before. And um, I do wanna reiterate that I do like using products more than once on my channel because I know I am that consumer where I'm not getting PR from companies, you know? Like I'm not always being able to use the newest stuff. And even if I were, there are still things that just because they came out a few weeks ago or a few months ago or a few years ago, doesn't mean that they're not still good, you know? So the average consumer isn't going to buy every new release. So I always like to make it a point to go back and use products and genuinely in my everyday life to cycle through things in my collection and my existing collection. And while I do love the new stuff and I'm always buying the new stuff, I like to make it a point to use old or existing things in my collection as well. So yeah, this is the Shadow Swatch palette in the shade The Russ. It kind of reminds me of the Naked Heat palette in format and in color scheme, but I said in my initial video with this palette, the reason why I love this so much is not just because of the pigmentation and the packaging, I think that's really boss, but also because you have kind of an even divide between warm shades and cool shades and at first when you look at this palette you're like oh my god they're all warm shades but no you have a lot of pretty neutrals and cool purples and taupes so this is a really versatile palette in my opinion so i'm just going to do something um a little bit bronzy a little bit uh neutral for today i'm going to start off with this shade right here this is in the shade mid i believe Yes, the colors are in the back, so I'm reading it. No, Mia, sorry. The A looks like a D for a second. And I am just going to lay that down with my Morphe M504. It is a little bit powdery. As you can see, there's a little bit of kick up, but that is A-OK -okay to me. This palette, I believe, was $13. Um, to be honest, I'm not even sure if it's still on the Ulta website, but wherever you can find Lottie London, this is a great palette and it's very underrated in my opinion. Next, I'm gonna go in with this shade right here called Nicole. And on this Morphe M433 brush, I'm just going to, ooh, this is very pigmented as you can see right here. I'm just going to lightly brush this through my crease a little bit less liberally. Okay, next up, I'm gonna take this shade right here. It's a really pretty dark, plum reddish shade called Jenny. And on this Beach Cosmetics number six brush, I'm just going to really pack that in my outer corner. These are very pigmented and honestly comparable to higher end shadows for sure. The way they blend and things like that. To blend at the edges, I'm gonna take my M504 with no additional product and just kind of sweep it all over the edges. 
to add a little bit of more definition to the outer corner, I'm going to go in with Erin. It's the darkest shade in this palette. It's kind of like a charcoal shade. And on this M506 by Morphe, I'm just going to really concentrate that deeper in the outer corner. And just flicker it ever so lightly towards the center of my lid. Okay, and then all over the lid, I'm going to apply this nice light champagne shade right here. This is the first shade called Danielle. And it's satin finish. It's not necessarily a shimmer, but that's the effect I... Oh my god, do you see like how beautiful that is? I had the same reaction when I went in with this palette for the first time. The mattes are great, but I feel like the shimmers are what really make this palette amazing. And it's not even a shimmer, it's just a satin. But it's so pigmented. To clean up that outer corner, again, I'm just going to take my BH Cosmetics brush and then a little bit more of that Jenny shade. Just going to lightly flicker that inwards. So that's how we get that nice little gradient effect and I am loving this. Moving on to my lower lash line, I am going to take that charcoal shade Erin and I'm just going to stamp that all along my lower lash line as precisely as possible using my M213 by Morphe. You can see it's very pigmented. And then to add a little bit of color beneath that, I'm going to take that taupe shade we went in with our transition shade called Mia. I'm just going to smoke that a little bit lower. I am also going to go in and do a little bit of an eyeshadow eyeliner type thing back in with Erin as well. I don't really want to apply like liquid liner or anything today, so I'm just going to stamp this as close to my upper lash line as possible for a little bit of definition that kind of mimics the effect of eyeliner without it being super harsh or super noticeable. For mascara, um, I am going to go in with an eyelash primer first just because I feel like eyelash primers as a whole are underrated, but I use it every single day. The underrated one I have in my collection is the Essence Volume Booster Lash Primer. This is a great um, lash primer. It's very inexpensive. It's $4.99. And I mean, I still love this a lot. I mean, I use my Marc Jacobs one, but I feel like this might be a little bit better and it's way more inexpensive. Um, I'll say it over and over and over again, Essence mascaras as a whole are very underrated in my opinion and the best mascaras, the best affordable mascaras and pretty much among the best high-end mascaras as well. I have pretty much almost every single Essence mascara or they keep releasing new ones and I keep having to keep up with them but they're so good. For mascara itself, I'm going to be taking the Essence Forbidden Volume Mascara and I chose this because um, it's not one of their newer ones but I actually got this on sale for like $2 and I'm not joking, it gives me amazing lashes like you'll see, you'll see, so. Like hello, this is $2 and freaking amazing. This is a highlighter I chose for this video. This is the H&M Illumination Luster Powder in the shade Sunlit Gold. And it's a really beautiful, natural highlight. It's really beautiful and really buildable. So I went with this because I feel like as a whole, no one really talks about H&M Beauty that much, but they make some amazing products. And the highlight in particular, I think it's one that can fit a lot of different skin types and skin tones. They have different shades, um, but this is really beautiful. I'm just gonna take my R36 by Morphe. And I'm just going to put that in here and just start building it on my cheeks. You can see it. it literally doesn't have any glitter or anything in it, but you can make it a natural highlight if you want or something that's blinding, like, hello. Got my nose, Cupid's bow. Okay, and then to highlight my inner corners and brow bun, I'm gonna take the same highlight, which is why I didn't do that yet, on my Essence um, Smoky Eyes brush. Just gonna dip that in here. Go in the center like this. It just looks very smooth on the skin, especially when you set it down. It's very beautiful. 
For lip liner, I am going to go in with the Koki Warm Nude Retractable Lip Liner. This is Boss packaging, first of all, and this is a great lip liner that no one talks about. It's affordable. It's not like the most pigmented, but that could be really good for you if you're someone who just wants to apply a nice outline or a nice guide and then fill in your lips with like a different color because it doesn't have that pigmented like outline. You know what I mean? Okay, and now for lips, I'm going to apply the Milani Amore Shine Liquid Lip Color in the shade Foxy. I have been loving this for like a month now. I spoke about this in my monthly favorites. It's just the most beautiful lip formula. And if you don't even like this color, because this is like a darker, uh, more 90s color, this formula is like literally the best combination between a gloss and a liquid lipstick. It has a staying power of a liquid lipstick, but it feels so comfortable like a gloss and it does feel long wearing. But yes, I love this shade. It's so like 90s brownish nude, but any shade is amazing. This formula as a whole is just fantastic. Last but not least, to set my face, I am going to go in with the Essence Instant Matte Makeup Setting Spray. This is a great underrated setting spray to make your makeup look matte. Like it's a great, Price point, it's five dollars. It's great to travel with. I traveled with this when I went to Chicago. It's just good overall. You can see the mist is very fine. It's just beautiful. All right, everyone, and that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this get ready with me using underrated products that I feel like mostly were affordable like this could be considered like a affordable underrated products video because i didn't use anything too high end so i hope you guys enjoy this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it please and also let me know down below what underrated products you love like let me know because i'm always on the hunt to discover new makeup especially things that a lot of people aren't talking about that really intrigues me so definitely please leave me your underrated favorites below and i will definitely check them out but thank you so much for watching and and I will see you in my next one. Mwah. Bye.